How's it going YouTube? Thanks for joining me for yet another review. Today I'm going to be looking at a beer I picked up at liquordirect.ca. Great web shop, ships all across Alberta, so check them out for sure. Um, yeah, today's beer is Breakside Brewing out of Milwaukee, Oregon's Wander Lust IPA. Coming in at 6.7% alcohol by volume and 50 IBUs. They're using Mosaic Summit Simcoe, Cascade, and Amarillo hops. Some of my favorite hops, so super excited to get this one cracked, poured, and see how it is. Got the Wanderlust IPA poured, and it looks absolutely awesome. That's exactly how I want my IPAs to look. Golden yellow body to this one. Quite clear, bit of carbonation, finger of bright white fluffy head. Yeah, it looks really nice. Let's get an aroma. Wow. Holy crap. Oh, whoa. Just an absolute uh, tropical fruit and citrus fruit bomb. Hints of a malt, but it smells like freshly squeezed fruits. You know, it's just incredible. All right, cheers, everybody. Yeah, I mean, wow. That's a total friggin' hop bomb. Uh, huge, like, crushed hot pellet notes right away. You get that, uh, just resinous, uh, not super bitter, but just super piney and resinous quality right away. There is a lot of bitterness. Um, just a nice lingering bitterness. Just mouth-watering amazing bitterness on this one. Like, grapefruit peel, straight-up pine needles, stuff like that. But it's not like the offensive bitter at all. It's just straight up hops. I mean, it tastes absolutely amazing. I'm getting huge amounts of citrus, of uh, tropical fruit as well, just fresh squeeze mandarin orange, fresh squeeze grapefruit juice, uh, nice sweetness, nice tartness, uh, really, really beautiful. Um, big amounts of like a Sweet pineapple, like slightly overripe pineapple. I'm getting like lychee dragon fruit, that kind of thing going on as well. That just creamy, like burst, like pop of a, a lychee, you know. It's really, really good. The mouthfeel, love it. Um, crisp, hardly any malt, and that's how I like my IPAs. I like a bit of malt sweetness to balance it all out but then I liked the malt to go away um, yeah it's really good I mean light oily slick yet crisp it's just a phenomenal beer as a rating on the Wanderlust IPA from Breakside Brewery I had the pleasure of having their uh, uh, Breakside IPA a while back rated it way lower than I should have. I gave it an 86, but as I drank from it, uh, as I just really got to know the beer, I was like, yeah, that's like a 90. This is way better than that even. Um, I absolutely dig it. It's something I could drink all year round, all day, every day. Like, uh, it's just awesome. 6.7% as well. I've had m most of the double IPAs in the range of like 9-10% aren't near as beautifully hopped as this one. Like it's just huge amounts of hop. If you like pine resin, if you like uh, just straight up hop juice, citrus, uh, uh, tropical fruit, and then a beautiful crisp finish with the lingering bitterness, you will love this. I mean... Absolute perfect beer for someone like me. Um, I'd have to go right around an eight, 94 on this one. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm definitely going to have to buy this one again. I'm going to have to trade some of these to buddies of mine, I think. And I uh, think they'll really appreciate that. But yeah, 94 from me. Let me know what you think of Breaksides, Wanderlust, their regular IPAs, any of their beers. I still have their uh, salted caramel stout in the 
fridge, I think. Yeah, and can't wait for that. So, uh, yeah. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Till the next time. Cheers.